Hello everyone, in this video we will be exploring Wall's visual cycle. But before we dive into that, do you know how visual impulse is generated? Let's discuss all these. Retina of the eye contains photosensitive cells, rods and cones. This is cone cell and this is rod cell. Roads are responsible for vision in dim light and cones are responsible for color vision. Each type of photoreceptor consists of three regions, outer segment and inner segment and the region of synaptic terminal. Road cell contains a photolabile pigment rhodopsin. It is found within the tightly packed discs in outer segment of road cell. On exposure to light, rhodopsin splits into all transretinal and opsin. In the retina, a part of all transretinal is immediately isomerized to 11 cis retinal in the dark by enzyme retinal isomerase present in retinal epithelium. Alternatively, most of the old transretinal is transported to liver through blood. In liver, old transretinal is reduced to old transretinol by the enzyme alcohol dehydrogenase which is NADH dependent. Alcohol dehydrogenase contain zinc also, so zinc is essential for retinol metabolism. Old transretinol is isomerized to 11 cis retinol by isomerase. Then 11 cis retinol is oxidized to 11 cis retinol by alcohol dehydrogenase using NAD. 11 cis retinol is transported through blood to retina where it combines with opsin to form a rhodopsin again which is ready for one more visual cycle on exposure to light. Now we will see during this visual cycle how visual impulse is generated. Rhodopsin present on disc membrane is coupled on cytosolic side to G protein called transducin. Transducin is a heterotrimeric protein with alpha, beta and gamma subunit. When GDP is bound to the alpha subunit, transducin is inactive. Here you can see that cyclic GMP in the cell helps in keeping the sodium channel open. When light falls on receptor, metarhodopsin 2 will activate this transducin protein. First we will see from where does this metarhodopsin 2 come. During photo excitation, rhodopsin is converted into bethorhodopsin to lumirhodopsin to metarhodopsin 1 and finally metarhodopsin 2 which induces the following changes in transducin. GDP is replaced by GTP and the whole complex dissociates into beta gamma complex and alpha GTP complex which is also abbreviated as GTP T alpha. GTP T alpha activates the phosphodiesterase which converts cyclic GMP to GMP. Cyclic GMP level falls in the cell which causes the closure of this sodium channel preventing the influx of sodium. Increased concentration of sodium outside resulting in hyperpolarization and that is how visual impulse is generated. You can see the same thing in flowchart. So now I hope you understand the walls visual cycle and how visual impulse is generated. Hope you find this video informative. If you